handsome, noble good looks, the German Shepherd was the original canine movie star. Pal, what are you doing here? But from the silver screen to silver stars, German Shepherds lead the way Nothing as police there, right? dogs. Experts estimate the breed accounts for over 8,000 deputy boy. dogs. German Shepherds are just fearless. I mean, they would be the first dog to take a bullet for you. <laughs> to members of our military and police force, German Shepherds, like Officer Hogan's canine, Dasty, are more than a yeah. dog. Stuya. I consider Dasty a police officer. He's actually asked to do more than I am sometimes, and he puts himself in great danger. <laughs> German Army Captain Max von Stiefenitz first registered a German Shepherd in Germany in 1899. The dog was the result of careful breeding to develop an ideal service dog. The captain's motto was utility and intelligence. Arguably the most versatile of all of the working breeds. No. That's the way. The German Shepherd was almost immediately put to wide use, serving the German Army in World Wars I and II. They were one of Hitler's dogs, dogs of war. Returning American GIs brought back hey. tales of the breed's prowess. They were impressed by their bravery and brought a few of them home. But Hollywood loved the handsome breed, and the German shepherds pawed their way onto the silver screen. If you think of Rin Tin Tin, everyone relates to him, how um, intelligent that dog was. When Rin Tin Tin first premiered in silent films in the 1920s, he received over 10,000 fan letters a week and saved Warner Brothers from financial ruin. They're very athletic, extremely intelligent. You can train them to do almost anything. The German Shepherd is bred with versatility, beginning with a double-layered coat. They have a very dense undercoat, so they're a very good all-weather type of dog. Color varieties include the standard black and tan, all black, and in recent years, even white. This breed also has pointed, alert ears, but as puppies, the ears are floppy. And this is actually very close to the wolf. Wolf puppies are born with floppy ears. Check out the bushy, slightly curved tail. There are rumors that occasionally they back cross a wolf into the breed. Dutch breeders did cross wolves into the bloodline in the 1920s, but the resulting dogs could not be domesticated. Yet police are thankful for one wolfy hangover, that long muzzle, the better to track you with. With the capability to exert up to 238 pounds of pressure, the German Shepherd has a bite that is second only to the Rottweiler in power. When that jaw snaps shut, the six upper incisors meet the six lower incisors in a devastating scissor grip. But the real utility of the German Shepherd to police work is not the fierce bite. It's the discipline to stop when told. Boost. This gives the officer an option to use force without using his gun. I can actually call the dog back to me. If I made a decision to use a firearm, I can't call that bullet back. The German Shepherd can toe the line with the best of them, but like most working stiffs, he's a big softy at heart. <laughs> Every German Shepherd is unique, but in general, the German Shepherd is a healthy dog, although the breed's body does wear down over the years. German Shepherds are legend for having a hip dysplasia. For grooming, watch out. You will find clumps of fur everywhere. Adaptability is this dog's middle name. You could have a German Shepherd in an apartment as long as you exercise them regularly. The German Shepherd heads the canine list as the number one biter, so early training is important. But with the proper guidance, love and attention, these dogs make loyal pets. These dogs want to please. They want to please, so you give them the least bit of encouragement, they're going to be all over you and making you a really happy person. The German Shepherd is a loyal, wonderful family dog, but outsiders beware. They're just so protective of what they consider their, their pack or their family. The German Shepherd is very adaptable and generally healthy, but beware of bad breeding. It sheds heavily, is one of the easiest breeds to train, and makes for a great family dog.